as she uh, joins us. And, you know, Shay, we've seen some snow here before, but people have no idea how something like that storm we're seeing uh, back east can really shut down a, a complete city. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I mean, these cities obviously super populated. New York City uh, Central Park had over a foot of snow, so uh, definitely going to be a, a long time cleanup, at least for the next week or so. Uh, but this is a look at the highest totals from uh, January 30th to February 2nd, highest totals per state. So Pennsylvania had three feet of snowfall, just a little over it actually, 36.1. New Jersey just slightly under that at 35 and a half inches. New York's highest total, 25.6. Massachusetts had 24 inches, so two feet of snow there, and West Virginia just under that at Terra Alta, 22.1. So incredible snowfall totals. They're definitely going to be uh, digging themselves out for the next few days, but uh, more snowfall on the way from places like the Midwest and potentially the Northeast again. So not done just yet. And speaking of snowfall, here is a Skylaps from Ski Valley. This is from last night. We had a very nice sunset uh, yesterday evening. Just check out those colors. So pretty. Unfortunately, we are losing the cloud cover. It's decreasing right now, so we might still be able to see a nice sunset or sunrise this morning, but we're going to have a clear sky pretty much for tonight and through pretty much the weekend. So going to be a little bit more plain, but still, of course, beautiful. But we are waking up on the clear side, but warm, pretty mild for this time of year in the 40s and 50s pretty much all across the board. Low 60s out towards Ajo, still in the 30s for the colder, higher elevations, 34 for Hannigan Meadow, 32 for Sholo. And it will be breezy at times. That front has passed through, but because we're kind of dealing with a tight gradient, it's going to be a little bit breezy uh, this afternoon with gusts between about 25 to 30 miles per hour. So even windy in some spots. And it looks like that 30 mile per hour gust will be more possible for areas east of Tucson like Safford, Wilcox, Sierra Vista. So areas to the east of Pima County can expect a little bit more of a windy day today. Tons of sunshine though the next few days through the weekend. So if you have any outdoor uh, plans this weekend, it's really going to be a good one. And then we have a nice warm up to look forward to. Uh, not as warm as the last couple of days. It uh, doesn't look like we'll get into the low 80s, but staying pretty comfortable in the low to mid 70s. That includes today, a little bit cooler, upper 60s on the east side, low 70s for the warmest spots breezy at times, if not windy for areas to the east to the south. Places like Nogales getting to 67, 66 in Sierra Vista and also notice colder overnight lows return. So back in the 20s, 30s and low 40s for most getting a little bit windy at times today, but by 9 a.m. Not horrible, just between about 5 to 15 miles per hour, potentially up to 25 up in Bisbee by 2 p.m. Getting a little bit more breezy, if not windy for most of us with gusts between 20 to 30 miles per hour, and that continues through about 6 p.m. this evening and then it will die off as we head into the late evening. So a little bit of a breezy if not windy day. Temperatures staying cool but still slightly above normal. Low 70s to mid 70s this weekend and if you have any plans for Super Bowl Sunday that include anything outside it will be absolutely gorgeous. That is a check of weather. Now let's go ahead and